Hey friends, hope you're well. In this video, I'll guide you through Monday.com, a platform that has taken my productivity and team collaboration up a level. Monday.com is an all-in-one management software that's great for helping manage remote teams, scale your business, or produce high-level video projects as a solo creator. So in this video, I'll walk you through the setup and getting your Monday.com workspace up and running within minutes, then show you the key features that will help make your workflow smoother, faster, and even more efficient than ever. So to get started with monday.com, head over to this page here, which will be linked in the description box below. And here I've partnered with monday.com to get my viewers access to a completely free trial. No payment details are required to start. All you need to do is just click get started and then enter your email and then follow the straightforward setup steps here. Then here, be sure to use your business or company name to keep everything organized right from the start. Then finally, once you're logged in, you'll be prompted to specify your workspace. You wanna select work if you're setting up monday.com for your business, and then assign user privileges, admin or member to make collaboration straightforward. This step is actually really important because monday.com thrives on cross-functional teamwork. And so inviting the right people ensures that everyone can contribute to the workspace efficiently. So making sure that you spend the time at the start setting up user privileges is pretty important. Okay, now let's go over some of the most powerful features that monday.com has as a platform to help boost your productivity, streamline processes, and save a significant amount of time. So now that we're in monday.com, the first thing to get up to date on are boards and columns. So boards are where most things happen on monday.com. Think of them as sort of, you know, the command center for your projects. You can create a board for almost anything, whether it's a product launch, marketing campaign, or client project. You can create a board and then customize it to track exactly what matters most to you or your business. Within each board here that we create, you can set up columns that track the key items for each of your tasks. So for example, let's go through a couple of columns here. Status is where you can track the current stage of the task. For example, not started, in progress, and then complete. Due dates is where you set the deadlines and reminders that are sent out to the team then priority is where you assign task priority to help the entire team focus on the most demanding or pressing action item. Then finally, people is where you assign specific team members to tasks so everyone in this workspace has a clear idea of who's responsible for each task. And so this structure creates a really clear and organized overview of everything happening across your team and your business on each board. This way, it's really simple for you and the rest of the team to know what's going on. Okay, so now we have an idea of how boards run on monday.com. Let's move on to one of the most standout features and useful features of monday.com, which are automations. As the name suggests, this feature will automatically take care of repetitive tasks, such as you know sending out emails, updating task statuses, or just manually coordinating files to be sent out automatically. All of these things can be taken care of for you with monday.com automations. So to give you a few examples of what monday.com automations can do, here are some automations I've set up in our workspace to give you an idea. So when we mark off specific tasks and mark them as complete on the board here, it will trigger an automatic email template to the client, letting them know that the draft video production is ready for review. So that just saves us a lot of time um, away from manually sending out that email to the client and it will be automatically done by just checking off a simple task. Then there are automatic reminders. So these are set up to be sent out when deadlines are approaching. So the team gets an email or a Slack message. So everyone's on top of the tasks without micromanagement or constant manual updates. And so this gets sent out automatically once again, when a specific task is checked off. And then even just small things like automating a celebration message sent to Slack when a YouTube video has gone live, thanking everyone for their hard work and contribution to the video. That's just something that's quite nice to see and you don't need to do manually every time a video goes live. 
And the best part about these monday.com automations is that they basically work across a wide variety of platforms from Gmail and Slack to Microsoft Teams and Typeform. So everyone can sort of collaborate from a single place rather than so many different platforms. So overall, monday.com automations are great for eliminating repetitive tasks and giving you and your team back time in the day. Next up in monday.com are dashboards. These are a great way to visualize data and track everything happening across boards and your business in one visual space. So to create a widget, the first thing you need to do is add a dashboard by clicking the blue plus button and then dashboard, then click add widget and then more. Here you can see all sorts of visually useful dashboards from time tracking to timelines. So for example, the workload widget here is really useful to help you manage team resources as well. So here with a workload widget, you can see who has the space to take on extra tasks and help take pressure off someone who has too much work. And this widget just is a very easy way to visualize all that workload across everyone in your team. Then there is the timeline widget and Gantt charts that I use frequently. And these are able to visualize your entire project timeline and track deadlines to make sure you and your team stay on track. And for me, it's great when used for large video projects so I can see all the next steps and deadlines visualized in a large timeline and sort of get an idea of all the responsibilities and people involved from a glance. Then the chart and graph dashboards visualize team performance, project progress, and key metrics all within things like pie charts, funnel charts, and bar graphs. So you can also make these charts accessible via monday.com to customers or clients actually, and easily export these charts out as reports that you can manually send. So these dashboards in monday.com make it easy for solopreneurs or even team managers to get that quick high level view of everything that's happening in the business and then quickly send that out to customers or clients. And it also just helps ensure that nothing falls through the cracks. One of the other common problems that monday.com solves is file management. You know how it is. We've all been there trying to find that crucial contract or document in a graveyard of emails or digging through folders with names that make no sense. But monday.com's file management tools, you can basically find and upload and share files directly within the tasks itself. So it just makes it super easy. So for example, if you need that sales presentation for your next client meeting, it's right there in the task itself right here where everyone can view it and everyone on your team is on the same page. You can also preview the files without leaving the platform by clicking right into it. So if you need a quick refresher before that important call, you can quickly find that file right here in the board then click on the preview and you're good to go. This creates a clean, organized workspace where everything is right there with you know less digital clutter and really empowers remote teams to work more efficiently. And speaking of digital decluttering, monday.com also plays really nicely with most apps from Google Drive and Dropbox to Zoom and Slack, like I mentioned. So there's no need to jump between different apps and get lost in the digital abyss. And it's one of the reasons monday.com is a great team collaboration hub. The integrations plug right into uh, monday.com interface right here. So if you need to share a document from Google Drive, for example, with the team or a client, you can pull it right from the monday.com board itself. And when discussing project updates, I can do that all through monday.com itself rather than opening up multiple different apps. I can fire up a quick Slack chat directly within the, the task itself right here. It's sort of like having a digital assistant for your workflow with dozens of app integrations. So yeah, that's monday.com in a nutshell. And that's how you get started. It's a complete platform that helps teams collaborate efficiently, enables you to stay organized and nips time wasting tasks in the butt. So if you want to streamline your workflow, improve team collaboration, or just get your own personal workflow organized for yourself, make sure you sign up to monday.com in the link below. It's completely free to begin with a trial and no payment details are required. If you made it to the end of this video and if you found this video useful, give this video a like and comment the code word weekday if you make it to the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.